Ever since I was a kid, I have always absolutely loved cars. Now, generally speaking, it would be the exotics, things like Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis, and McLarens, or should I say the one McLaren. But throughout my childhood, there was always one car that stood out, and it kind of stuck with me over the years. And finally, I've decided to get one. So here is my 1974 T2 Bay Window camper van also known as the Hippie Bus. things like to drive well I think you can probably tell it's pretty noisy on the inside here we get a lot of engine noise and also a lot of road noise and a lot of wind noise because this thing is about as aerodynamic as a brick uh, we have no power steering in the slightest this is 100% man power from the operator we have a full speed manual gearbox so no fifth gear which means that when you're going about 70 miles an hour if you can get to 70 miles an hour you are probably at about 4,000 revs but I don't know because we don't have any form of rev counter and we also don't have a rev limiter. So that's definitely something to watch out for. Uh, we've got obviously pedals that come directly up out the floor. Uh, we have no air conditioning, no heating or anything like that. The closest thing that we have to any form of climate control is this, which opens vents that let air in from the front, from the front of the car, just into the cabin. It's all very basic, as you can probably tell, but that, is why I absolutely love this thing. It just puts a massive smile on my face all of the time. It's my favorite thing in the world to drive. Powering this 1,100 kilogram camper van is a flat four air-cooled engine that produces 70 brake horsepower. Now that might not seem like much, but that is actually the most powerful engine that you can get for these things. If you got an earlier version, you would be stuck with a 1.6 litre engine putting out 48 brake horsepower, which would give you a 0-60 time of 37 seconds. Not exactly swift. To be honest they don't make cars like this anymore i mean the new vw transporters and everything like that they're brilliant okay they're efficient they're reliable uh, they're not going to break down they have plenty of space they are perfect if all you want to do is get from a to b and go camping and explore but if you want something that is going to put a smile on your face while you're on your journey something that is going to make you happy even if you're stuck in traffic, even if it's chucking down with rain, even if you're stuck behind someone who's driving far too slowly, you're still gonna be having a laugh because this thing is the daftest thing on the planet. <laughs> but it's brilliant. Now, I might be a little bit biased because I'm yet to have any issues with this. I haven't broken down just yet and I only got it about a week ago. So maybe I'm still in the honeymoon period right here. But first impressions are, this is the best car that money can buy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> we are struggling up the smallest of hills, but that's what makes it fantastic. Oh, I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier.